Good morning to you both. The energy was electric as fans traveled from all around the world to be at Super Bowl 56. And the game itself did not disappoint as the Cincinnati Bengals and the Los Angeles Rams would take this game down to the final minutes. And it was the second year in a row where the team hosting the Super Bowl would come up victorious and would walk away with the Lombardi Trophy. If you remember last year, there was only first responders in attendance. And this year, fans were back in the stands and they showed up and they showed out. Also, the SoFi Stadium was a world-class stadium from top to bottom and the experience from walking into the stadium to sitting in your seat, you felt like you were at the best game of your entire life. Personally, that's what I would have to say. I had a chance to catch up with some fans just on their experience on what it was like to be at the big game. Take a listen. Hey, this means everything to me. I've been rocking with the Rams since they came back to L.A. Before they was in L.A., I wasn't a fan. When they came back, I immediately became a fan, and I told everybody I worked. I told everybody that we was going to the Super Bowl, and I told them we was going to win it. Everybody doubted us, and we here. Champions! Since he was 10, we had a bucket list to go to the Super Bowl, and, and then the did. Rams. We did the Rams. Can you believe it? <laughs> um, uh, how long have you guys been fans? Uh, oh. my, my dad grew up uh, Anaheim Rams fan, so we, I grew up my whole life St. Louis Rams fan. They came back here. We've been waiting for this moment my whole life, man. <laughs> we finally made it. A special moment for Los Angeles Rams fans, and I have to add, the halftime show. Probably the best to date in my personal opinion. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and growing up in California, a West Coast kid like myself, you can't get much better than that. And I have to tell you, in 17, 73 days away now from the NFL draft, and for Wolfpack fans, quarterback Carson Strong, wide receiver Romeo Dubs, and tight end Cole Turner will enter the draft in hopes that their dreams can come a reality and hopefully make it on the big stage. Oh, yeah, we are all sitting on the edge of our seat to see what happens to Carson Strong for sure. All right, I have to ask you, you were there, you know, you were a, um, there for the last minute 30 of the game. What was it like during that turnaround? What were the fans in that stadium doing? I cannot imagine what it would feel like to be a Rams fan or a Bengals fan right in that moment. <laughs> Everybody was on their feet. The Los Angeles Rams fans were not counting themselves out of this game in those final two minutes as they were on their last drive to get into the end zone. And those costly penalties really helped the Rams in the final stretch. But you could just feel how much it meant to these fans. They were, they've been waiting for this just as much as the Bengals were also hoping that this would swing their way. But excitement lots of excitement lots of tears lots of screams alex and myself were we were standing towards the entrance waiting to talk to fans as they came out and and even alex had said we can't leave yet this game is going to come down to the final minutes like it did in the playoffs and in football fashion it did just just that as any team can win on any given sunday yes that is right all right nevada sports nets kirsten moran live in la for us thank you kirsten